Hi, in this video we're going to talk about two examples about deduction using flex in logic. Now before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your nice comments below. Example 1. Prove that the following is a logical implication. Open bracket, P implies open bracket, Q implies R, close bracket, close bracket, implies open bracket open bracket p and q close bracket implies r close bracket so that is what we are going to prove and here is the proof our final destination is what we are going to prove so it is an implication which consists of the left side and the right side of the implication the left side is the premise and the right side is the conclusion. To get this implication, we introduce a flag with a pole, and we put the premise in the flag. We indicate this with one, and we try to get the conclusion under the flag. Now the conclusion itself is in the form of an implication, which consists of the premise P and Q, and the conclusion R. To get this, we introduce another flag and put the premise P and Q in the flag. We indicate this with two and we are going to try to get the conclusion R under the blue flag. Now how do we get R? Now we see that R only occurs in the yellow flag and on the right side of the implication in the yellow flag. Now to get R, we need to get Q implies R first. Now we can apply the elimination of implication, but we need P. How do we get P? Now P is in the blue flag in the form of P and Q. Now we can get 3 from there by applying the elimination of M to 2. We indicate this with 3. Now we have P. So now we can apply the elimination of implication to 1 to get Q implies R. We indicate this with 4. So we get this by applying the elimination of implication to 1 and 3. Now we are close to get R. Now R occurs on the right side of the implication in 4. To get R from there, we can apply the elimination of implication to 4. But we need Q for that, and we can get Q from 2 by applying the elimination of N. We indicate this with 5. So now we can get R by applying the elimination of implication to 4 and 5. We indicate this with 6. So now we establish our original conclusion by applying introduction of implication to 2 and 6. We indicate this with 7. Finally, we establish our original implication by applying introduction of implication to 1 and 7. So we are done now. Example 2. Prove that the following is a logical implication. Open bracket, open bracket, P implies Q, close bracket, N, open bracket, not Q or not R, close bracket, and R, close bracket, implies not P. So this is what we are going to prove, and here is the proof. Our destination is what we are going to prove. It is an implication consisting of the premise on the left side and the conclusion on the right side. To get this, we need to introduce a flag with the pole and put the premise in the flag. We indicate this with one and we put the conclusion under the flag. So the conclusion is not P. So we need to introduce another flag and put P in the flag. We indicate this with two and try to get false under the flag. Now to get false, 
We need something and the negation of that something. Now here there are two candidates for that, namely Q and not Q, and also R and not R. You can try the first one, namely to get Q and not Q, but here we're going to do the latter one, namely to get R and not R. To get not R, we need to get not Q or not R in one first, and then we're going to apply the elimination of OR to get not R. But to be able to apply the elimination of OR to not OR or not R, we need Q. Now Q occurs on the right side of P implies Q in 1. So we get it first by applying the elimination of N. We indicate this with 3. Now we get Q by applying elimination of implication to 2 and 3. We indicate this with 4. Now Q is the same as not not Q. This is by double negation. We indicate this with 5. Now we take not Q or not R by applying elimination of M to 1. We indicate this with 6. Now we have not R by applying elimination of OR to 5 and 6. We indicate this with 7. Next we get R from 1 by elimination of M. We indicate this with 8. Now we have not R in 7 and R in 8. Then by applying introduction to M and also inverse, we get false. We indicate this with 9. Now we establish the original conclusion, not P, and indicate it with 10 by applying the introduction of not to 2 and 9. Finally, we have reached our destination, that is by applying introduction of implication to 1 and 10. So now we are done.